Man, I'm not going to lie. Now that the Rona is over, it's time to get back to business. And people are going back to the office. Well, I've been slacking on this because, you know, I got to get back to real life. So I figured I'd do a little something different. You know, no crazy edits so I could give y'all more content. So I came up with this whole little TikTok thing. And I finally got a setup to go through with it. So check this out. I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh. Wow. I've never been so happy. I'm going to stop him right there. That's kind of like the most ignorant thing that I've, I've seen in a while on the Internet. And the sad part about it is you're going to get people that's going to defend us. That's alpha. And that's the big that's the big problem. That's why you can't classify yourself in any category of with this whole manosphere, red pill space. Because you got guys that say ignorant stuff like that. And they'll be like, oh, y'all are in that same group. You're supposed to support that. And the truth is, no, that's just ignorant. So all the women that went to college, now no men wants them. That is capped. Because the fact is, most of the women, and I've said this before in my videos, most of the women that I've seen that go to college, if I looked at a woman and I was like, wow, she's going to be a good wife someday, I want to say about 95% of those ladies that I thought would make a good wife, some of them weren't so much my type. I'm a little ratchet. I need a little ratchetness in my life too. Some of them were just a little bit more, you know... I'm going to just say it. They were a little boring. You know, they were smart. And they went in the club twerking. I need somebody in between. And that's what I found. And that's what worked for me. But but let's just take a look and see what she's got to say about it. Because I thought this was crazy. My wife sent me this. And she was like, wow. To be disqualified for something in my life. And seeing as this applies to me, since I'm a millionaire, I'm a lawyer, and I have a very successful podcast with CNN, oh. I figured I'd respond. Talk your talk. His whole demeanor is, let me reject you before you reject me. And what am I disqualified from exactly? From dating men like you? That's like telling me that I'm disqualified from having a lobotomy. Men like this are threatened by women because they're in constant competition with women. Instead of- I wouldn't say they're threatened by them. I just don't understand what the whole reason was for it in the first place because there's women out there that have educations that are successful and are happily married. And I know a whole bunch of them. I can go down a list in my Facebook group of mostly people that I've went to college with, but that, that are married and continue to get married. I'm just at that phase in my life, which is a beautiful thing. I'm in my thirties and people are getting married. People are having kids. They're creating families. Looking for a partner to build an empire with, they're too busy dragging women down to their level. And it's no surprise that weak men who have nothing else to offer try to use money to control women. Until women have full body autonomy, men should not have access to microphones. That was a generalization at the end. I wasn't feeling that men shouldn't have microphones. Something about that clip just didn't sit right with my spirit. So I found the original clip and go figure, it was taken out of context. You people are so petty. I'll make a separate video on that called Black Men Drag Because of Their Preference. Now back to TikTok. What, here's what's interesting. So there's cats that are with a woman. Her career is on a whole nother level than his. She making money. He stays home. I don't think that that means he's emasculated because I think even to your point, Steve, if y'all got a relationship where, listen, Sister's career is the top career. That doesn't mean you can't protect. He, that doesn't good. mean that that doesn't mean that you can't show did love. It one, means though. No, 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 no. Wait though. It means though you got to be clear about what your role is. Yeah, I can understand this. Okay. Things have got a little, you know, off kilter. She making more money. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And you decide to stay at. You got to stay at the house for a time with the kids. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in me. That's going to allow myself to sit here the entire time right. mm -hmm. while my girl go out and, and kill right. everything That's we right. eat. And I'm sitting at the house babysitting. Right. But wait, Steve, what is more important than making sure your kids, your sons, your daughters are prepared for the world? And if it's a brother at the house who said, listen, she got this financial thing, but I'm about to prepare some soldiers in the house. It don't mean that he ain't sitting there doing nothing. Right. But we have said as men that babysitting 
It ain't babysitting. It's preparing our babies for the world yeah. in a way that <laughs> they need to be prepared. That, yeah, yeah, sometimes that's cool. you got to create, you got to create cool a model. Thing, your kids. It ain't, it ain't babysitting. But it's like yeah, this. Hell no. Though. I think this is an interesting conversation because the fact of the matter is, you know, you got two opposite ends of the spectrum. First of all, these bills today are not 1980, 1990s bills. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Like you need two parent household of income to get the best for your kids. These guys are multimillionaires or they're successful men, but the average guy the average person can't afford that. So if you want the best for your kids, there needs to be a two-parent household of income. And if you find a woman that's making that kind of money to where she is able to provide for her family and doesn't need any help, I don't think it's a problem if the man stays home as well. Like, you know, everybody has their own thing in it. And it's interesting that people try to push their lifestyle on other people. I can't show my sons. And I can't give my daughters the vision of a man sitting at the house while the woman is out getting that part, it. I can't that make part. my daughter think that's cool, and I damn sure can't make this boy think this is cool. If the family folds up and your ass was at the house when the family sank, what are we talking about here? Steve, mm. there are things that you can do around the house. Like what? <laughs> Motographs. <laughs> Motographs. <laughs> what? Here's what's... Mm. I agree with that, too. I agree with that too, Steve. I ain't going to lie to you. That's that's the conservative in me. You want your son to be a go-getter and go out and, and do for himself. You know what I mean? So I'm in between on that, on that last part. You have to be a very weak man to be scared of a woman who says she wants a provider. Without this woman, you would still be paying everything that's in your household. To be a provider is to provide for yourself, essentially. So ladies, if it's a man that's scared of you saying that you want a provider, nine times out of 10, he can't provide for himself. He needs you to go 50-50 because he literally cannot survive by himself. And if a man can't afford the cost of his own independence alone, he's not a man. Now I do believe it's the woman's job to keep her- I'm gonna must, I must stop her right there because um, I do like a lot of stuff that she says on this um, on her channel, but I disagree with that because when a woman says she wants a provider, that means she wants you to take care of her bills too. Like when a woman says she wants a provider, she usually wants someone that's going to pay for her phone bill, take care of her car note, then also provide shopping, going out to eat. Back in the day, a provider was a man that took care of the home, put food on the table, and that was that. Before my wife came into my life first of all i was only paying for one mouth to feed then on top of that wasn't home as much so it was less electricity so that part i disagree with her on and then the thing about it is when women say they want providers they want a traditional man which is a provider but they don't want to be traditional women they don't want to stay at home and cook and clean and all that stuff they want to stay at home and do nothing and then they want to be able to go out and go shopping and go on vacations and all of that thing. That's why the provider word has a bad stigma on our generation because when it comes to women, they want traditional men, but they're not traditional women. Just do what makes you happy. If I was single and I heard a woman say she wanted a provider, that would let me know up front that we're just not compatible because there are men out there that want to be providers. They want that old school relationship and maybe they'll find that girl that can cook and clean and that wants to stay home. But I'm okay with a girl going out and getting to the bag. I don't need you to stay home and not do anything. I need you to go out and work so we can build this dream together. Everybody's not compatible for each other. So it's no need to really call. And I'm I'm guilty of calling women gold diggers in the past too. But it's no need to call these ladies that want to provide to call them gold diggers because we're just not compatible. And that's okay. And ladies, stop calling men dusties just because they want a woman to go half. We just not compatible. And that's okay. And you're going to die alone. If she's attractive, she can go out and find a provider. Just like you, a decent looking guy with some game, you can go out and find a woman that will go 50-50 with you too. Nigga, please. <laughs> yourself up. Like, it's not a man's job to pay for your hair, nails, lashes. All of that is going above and beyond. But right. the bare minimum is for him to be taking care of that household. Right. I agree with that. Right. Mm -hmm. All I can't fucking night. Yeah, yeah. I've been this, yeah, yeah. If I 
broke now my business There y'all go, there go y'all provider DJ Bugatti Probably don't own a Bugatti with $2,000 of um <laughs> In his bank account Or 17 cents now Because he, he spent it on his uh girl's YSL bag It's the dumbest thing ever It's like y'all making fun of Jim Jones For getting bad service in a Gucci store But most of y'all got Gucci And I do too but at least I bought mine when I was younger. Like, I'm over all of that stuff. Like, they don't rock with us. We we the coolest monkeys in the jungle. Shout outs to H&M. Yeah. The men who are out here only trying to have sex with women and have no emotional connection, they're weirdos. A lot of this red pill, how to get girl stuff, a lot of them are like that as well. They're like, the, the peak masculine uh, uh, life is just to have a bunch of women that you barely know. And that, yeah. that's stupid. That's fucking ridiculous. Right? Every man, if you want to have a good life, you need to have a good relationship with a good woman. When yeah. you get sick. Amen. That's Tate, right? Yeah. It's your woman who's going to care, not your boys, right? right? But you can. Right. Call me when you sick. Nah, I'm a good friend. I'm, I might send you some soup, but that's really your, your lady should be should be doing that. Like, I ain't calling out of my bros when I'm sick. And the thing about it is that's one. of. I mean, I said that multiple times. That's one of the reasons why I stopped being a hoe. Like, I got sick one time. And you know, I had a rotation of like five or six. Got sick one time, hit all of my joints up. All of them curved. One of them was like, ew, you sick? I'm not your girl. Like, call me when you get better. Love her and she can love you with all her heart. You can oh. love each other. You can be prepared to take a bullet for her. Yeah. And still fuck other bitches. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's no big deal. Yeah. You gotta do, we gotta do, we gotta do. The man who- No D discipline. No dick discipline. That's all that is. That's all I got for y'all. Um... Yeah, you know, expect a bunch more of these because these are a lot easier to do. Um, YouTube is not rocking with me. They are not showing my content to my subs. So that's all I got for y'all. Like, promise, share, subscribe, and holla at your boy. Low on my fitted, uh, dreams always been vivid. Uh, I'm just trying to go 